Hi there, welcome back to the Curious Expedition. At the moment we are playing Richard Francis Burton. We are on our fourth expedition. We have relatively good fame. We have okay money. And we'll see where to go. Last time with Darwin we failed miserably, so we're going for the easier regions here. Not, not something that is called harsh and desolate. Because that's always pretty harsh. And uh, you're feeling desolate there after a while. The, even though it's called the rich drylands, so that might be something. The forgotten drylands. The opulent water temples grasslands. Oh no, we want something well, let's call the well balanced region. Even though that has golden. golden scripture, but. Yeah, how maybe I mean Maybe that's something special. Let's go for it. It is said that a flooded area filled with many temples can be found in this region. Contains a buried golden pyramid. A buried one. So it's very hard. No. We're going for the well balanced region, the black jungle. Start. After being too excited to sleep, I arrived at the docks. We had a little time before the ship would be ready, so I imagined what lay beyond the horizon. Soon after my arrival, the hunter approached me. I was eager to see the evidence of Snarfrattle's death. Snarfrattle was a hyena we killed in our last expedition. Let's hand over the pelt. Why would we keep it? Hand it over the pelt. The hunter nodded quietly, and I saw a sign, a faint sign of sadness crossing his weathered face. Why are you sad? Let's obtain a reward. Receive new funds as a token of gratitude. Oh, and then we have a collector, a wandering trader. Collector of Swords proposed an interesting offer. He tasked me to acquire a precious idol. It could be found in a native settlement in the area of our upcoming expedition. He guaranteed to reward us handsomely if we were able to return with it. Of course, of course. That's just the shady deals Richard Francis Burton would have accepted. So, uh, the nightly adventures of our Richard Francis Burton continue. We're now pretty rich. Um, will we accept? Yeah, of course we'll accept the precious uh, to acquire the precious, precious idol. But how could we? Probably we need to steal it. We also have the colorful marble, so let's accept for now. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. I was proud to see that tales of my previous expeditions had attracted quite some attention. Many new recruits showed up eager for adventure. Who did I want to recruit? And who do we have with us? The native shaman. Francis, uh, we have Kwawapi. Nathaniel Tadeus and Patrick Sanders, who can carry quite a lot. So I, th I think we're okay. I mean... We could recruit someone else here, like James Sterling or Bernard Le Mercier, but no thanks. We're full. I rejoiced as our ship was prepared to sail, set sail, and we want to purchase equipment. Mm. Now, well balanced region. Let's buy ropes. Oh, let's buy whiskey, of course. We have so many funds, we'll buy all of that. Uh, maybe two or three climbing gears. All of the machets. Machets are always good. Some of these. Um, maybe a shovel, I don't know. First aid kit, we have enough of these. Um, maybe some dynamite. No, I think we're strong enough. Just like that. Binoculars, a wonder of optical science. These magnificent binoculars will slightly increase your viewing distance. That's in incredibly helpful, usually. Good that we have them. We'll just buy them. Let's make a deal. Just in time, the ship was prepared to set sail. Yeah, let's set sail, then. Let's uh, clear this. <laughs> Expedition 4 will begin soon. What will we find? And when will we find it? 
We have arrived, just as I thought we would never find a way through these waters. A shoreline rose in the morning mist. I knew this place held something special for us. But now let's 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 go for the ship storage. Let's put this here. The blue mushroom and the red mushroom. We don't need them with us for now. Let's close again. And instead we want to bring some water. Mm, and maybe... Healing abilities? Yeah, but I'm, I'm really a little bit afraid of mushrooms, even though we have mushroom recipes. Mm. Maybe we should take them with us yeah maybe we should i mean we have the mushroom recipes like what can happen here so let's go <laughs> perfectly prepared let's begin the expedition where should we go first um have we marked this thing on the map no let's see where should we go how is the map going? So, there's a lot to explore here and not that much to explore here, probably. So, uh, let's start here and then go in a circle, maybe. Do we already see something? I mean, we see the crocodile and the whatever that is. Zombie pygmies! God! <laughs> No, we want to go here for a start. Let's travel. Wow, there's a lot of forest here. What the hell? <laughs> Let's go down. No more machets and we have found nothing. Nice. Let's travel over here. We have found absolutely nothing. What is happening here? We could get more mushroom recipes, maybe? Huh. Yeah, well, let's go up here then. What the hell? <laughs> At least we're getting compass progress. But really nothing else. Ah. More whiskey. We'll all become alcoholics. He already is. Ah, oh, let's go there. All right. Travel. Should have gone upward already. Is there explicitly nothing? Into this direction there was nothing. All right. Ah, new region discovered. Hey, we can we can go to this area of the swamp. Nice. Now, let's enter the hut. Enter the strange looking hut. The place smelled of old dank wood with all manner of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman. Ooh! Ask for cleansing. Barter. Ooh, yes. But what do we have that the shaman needs? Maybe he would like uh, climbing gear? Yeah, let's, let's give him the climbing gear. Let's make the deal. Shaman quickly grabbed the offered goods and then asked who, sh who he should treat. Here, yeah, Captain Nathaniel Thaddeus. <laughs> Look at that, he's kleptomania and is an alcoholic, so let's go. Shaman began singing. He seemed to be in commune with an unknown deity. After a short time, he calmed down and we helped Captain Nathaniel Thaddeus to his feet. Very nice. Let's trade now. 
But I think, uh, yeah, we'll just make no deal. Let's leave. Hey, this was already um, making up for the start a bit. Uh, we should go there. Let's eat. All right. Um, let's drink then some whiskey. Some more whiskey. Oh, we need some kind of village. Maybe it, there's some village here, maybe here. Hopefully here. Let's travel. Or some way to rest. There is a shrine. Oh, that's just pretty great. Let's examine the shrine. The structure emitted considerable warmth. So oh, let's use the rope and enter the shrine. Warmth, that means, you'll see what that means. Oh, we have a moonstone, we need those. A golden coin and a golden dagger. Yeah, I will, of course, like to take them all. This was not a day for hesitation, the treasure was ours for the taking. Oh, we fled though, because the earth began to shift. And a volcano began to rise, spitting fire and oozing lava. Oh no, we need to go there to drink. Cause that's the only way you can live through something like that. Let's travel. Run! Oh God, we're so slow. Is that, that's an old camp. Let's explore it. We found an old campsite. They were debris at what seemed to be a failed expedition from long ago, the rotten remains of what must have been an oriental explorer. All the bounds we found had been cracked open and, as it seemed, sucked dry of their mar marrow. An oriental explorer. Hmm. Maybe we'll find something to eat, please? Uh, I was certain there were riches to be found here. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to valuable equipment. <gasps> that saved us. Chocolate. And Machetz. Oh, this is a gift from heaven. As we departed, we became aware that our presence had attracted inquisitive wildlife. A hyena. Let's actually eat the chocolate. Will we become chocoholics? I don't know. Seems like the pyramid must be in that direction, but for now we want to flee from... Yeah, we should definitely go to this place. Wanted to flee from the hyena. There are springs here, natural hot water springs. The water had a strong coloring, although I had heard of the healing properties of such. Let's rest overnight. Down and I told people to rest. There was a tense mood as we sat and stared into the fire. Kwawapi had been scouring the area. On his return, he described her findings of this area and I marked a few spots on our map. Nice. And we're resting. And now we have a place to rest here. This is so good. We enjoyed the sojourn. Delicate steam laced the water as we prepared to leave. Bathing in the hot springs had astoundingly healed our wounds. Very nice. As we departed, we became aware, though, that our campfire had set fire to some nearby bushes. Before we knew we had what had caused it, the fire began to spread out of control. I suspected Joma Vas to be the cause of this incident and urged her to be more careful next time. Oh, let's continue. Oh god. You march through here. Um, maybe let's go to this place. Let's hope the hyena doesn't... Ah! Oh! Surprise attack. Oh, we should have attacked them probably. Oh, let's roll. Let's roll. We have a repost attack. Let's see. A curse of poison. Yeah, they are not powerful enough to be cursed. We can go for repost attacks though. That's pretty good. More repost. Increasing our shields. 
doing that. Right of Unity, shield 1, heal 2. Yeah, we'll do that. It's very nice. What do we have here? Nothing. Let's roll again. Oh, a double attack. Let's go for the double attack and end the round. Two hyenas left. But they cannot penetrate our shield. Uh, what do we have here? Is that a kick? Nice, a kick. Give us more kicks. Um, what do we have here? Uh, right of Unity could be good. But we can go for more kicks. And Right of Unity is pretty great. Let's roll. We have an attack, we can roll again, and we have a double attack. And this will not kill the hyena. Oh, come on, hyena. Roll bad, please. It claws us. Let's kill it. Deprive the dead of anything useful. We're gaining sanity, thanks to Thaniel Thaddeus, who is now injured. Oh, God, that's loot. What should we pick up here? Hmm, the hyena pelt. Or the animal tooth. The raw meat. We don't have a cook, so the raw meat is useless to us. We have a butterfly collection. Could leave that behind. Take hyena pelts. We couldn't... Maybe... I don't know. I think we don't need water though. So let's pick up the animal tooth and the hyena pelts. Uh, yeah, and then we can eat the red mushroom. Let's close and let's eat the red mushroom. Let's give it to... Nathaniel Thaddeus. Oh man, he ate the mushroom and was shaken with pure disgust. He fell into some sort of trance for several hours. Afterwards, he was miraculously healed. However, something altogether divine now gripped Captain Nathaniel Thaddeus after the dream state. He's not entirely sane. Oh, good. He is scared of butterflies and moths. God. He has... What is that condition? Lepido... L <laughs> Lepidopterophobia. Yes, Nathaniel Tadeus, all right. Lepidopterophobia, that's very bad. There's the bushfire still. Uh, however, let's run here. Let's travel. Let's see what we can find. We have found the Golden Pyramid. Magnificent. But we don't want to go in there yet. We want to go to this place here. In the swamps. There's a crocodile I know, but we're as good as Crocodile Dundee, aren't we? Let's see. There is an elephant graveyard. This bleak and foreboding place was situated in the midst of a swamp, strewn with the remains of long dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, hundreds of the impressive animals had come here to die. Search the area. My instinct said we would find something of value here. We spread out and searched the area. After a short while, we found valuable elephant tusks. They were undeniably cumbersome, but would prove valuable if we returned home. Very nice. As we left, we noticed that our presence had attracted inquisitive wildlife again. The zombie pygmies here. We have that thing. The grasslands. We can go here. We're not afraid of the zombie pygmies. Come on. What can they even do? There's a native village. Let's enter the village. Counter the tribe that effortlessly demanded respect. Oh god. They hate us. So they were some form of religious unity. As natives were suspicious of our arrival, it seemed wise to put them at ease with some gifts. Let's barter. Um, maybe hyena pelts? What do they really like, though? Oh yeah, the colorful marbles. Now they come into play. That's pretty good. And we can, oh, we can buy, yeah. 
That's good. We can buy more animal teeth. And jewels. And uh, very nice. Jewels too. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. What would we give them to? Ah, oh, yeah. A talk. Yeah. Mini puppets. Let's, let's make it a deal. They accepted our offerings and welcomed us wholeheartedly. They had been inviting us. They surely had a advance word of our arrival. They were cautious but politely offered their help, perhaps to see us leave sooner. <laughs> uh, I recognized the language of the natives and soon was able to communicate. And we'll rest here just because we need that strange thing situated in a village. So let's first see if we can trade some more. Maybe with the animal tools. They like the moonstone though. There's a big value. Yeah. More animal tools. We're all for it. Um, golden coins. Nope. Binoculars. Nope. Uh, what would we need for more animal tooth? Value 10. Yeah, nothing nothing really good here to trade in for that. So we'll give them the moonstone. Let's make the deal. Came to an agreement with the natives. Let's rest here. Told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. The villagers shared their food with us. This night one villagers told us about the golden pyramid and shared valuable information about its possible location with us study their culture. Spent more time this evening on an anthropological survey. Long into the night I documented the customs and history of this exotic people. Wow. <laughs> uh, very nice. Let's sleep now. Mm, we're gaining sanity. The night was quiet and peaceful, thank God. The following morning I woke to the sound of the village already bursting with activity. While we still felt welcome, could tell that the villagers had become disturbed by our presence. Uh, can we recruit someone? I changed my mind. Then let's leave. New adventures could be waiting over the next ridge. Yeah. Mm, the feeling of being watched. Oh god, let's look at that. I mean, we haven't found the village. The village is probably that we need is probably over here. I think we might need to... First, we want to use the first aid kit, though, and heal Francis Burton. He had more color in his cheeks afterwards. Very nice. Uh, we haven't found the goal yet. Um, let's promote Jomavas. What has she gained? Oh, she has these dice now, too. The idol. As a magnetic mountain. I mean, there's no way we can go over there, so um, we just have to leave there. Yeah, we just have to go for the golden pyramid. I mean, we want to, we want to be able to finish it this time. So let's go to the golden pyramid. I mean, we could go here, but then we need to cross. Uh, What? What? Return? What? Oh no. So we could go into this direction and then move here, but that would cost us more than we can do. So no, we need to go to the pyramid, otherwise we'll just fail. I mean, we could go this way. I think the fires are too quick for us. Let's move here first. Oh, the fires have gone out. We could move here if we attack the hyena first. Yeah, let's actually do it. We can attack first now. Let's roll. And we have a lot of dice. We have a lot of dice. 
can go for the repost. That is always a good thing, right? Go. We have this uh, and this. That's a kick. Eliminate them and uh, more kicks. Maybe here. And hmm, maybe let's roll again. Could go for a double. We could go for a single attack on this hyena. Let's do that. Uh, let's save that thing. And let's roll again. A precise attack. Nice. That will help us here. Now the last hyena. Uh, let's go for a right of unity for a shield a bit. Let's end the round. Hey, hyena. You were pretty unlucky, I can tell. <laughs> and let's kick hyena. And also repost. I'm not sure. A precise attack. Very nice. It deprives the remains of anything useful. Let's loot. More animal tooth and more hyena pelts. It's close. We have gained more sanity. We can now go to the waterfall. And we could get 50 there and rest again. And then we could go back over here. Hmm. Let's travel over there. And let's go to the springs. Let's rest overnight. Contemplated why I had come here. Was this really worth the effort? All these struggles. What kind of person did it take to revel in this life of danger, pain and uncertainty? Well, us, of course. Us. Let's rest here. Oh, something has moved in. Everyone enjoyed the sojourn. Mist lay heavily on the ground as we prepared to leave. Yeah, we should rest again. As a child, Patrick Sanders dreamt of becoming an explorer, and Joma was opened up about her ambition to follow in the footsteps of her brother. Nathaniel Todias told me about how he was attacked by a rabbit cat when he was a child. Since then, he had bore deep distrust against them. Let's rest again. There's now the zombie pygmies. They are with us. Let's leave. We must attack the zombie pygmies. Let's attack. Look at them. They have a shaman. Ah! And they have warriors. God. This is going to be hard. A precise attack given three a repost giving two we should attack the shamans first probably maybe we can get kicks in this gives us three then we have we have two uh, we have three again yeah that that's good let's start with this then we've got a kick and we've got a repost. Killed the first shaman. Now for the next one. Curse of poison. We can go for another repost attack. And a curse of poison on the shaman. Mm. God, they are so good, Boreas. Let's actually repost him. Let's go for the Curse of Poison. God, let's pray and end the round. They have poisoned us too. God. Ah, let's roll. 
Let's kill the shaman. Hmm. Kick him. Poison. What does that mean? Hmm. Yeah, but let's kick him first. Kick him first, ask questions later. Oh, they had a shield there. Another precise attack. That's probably pretty good. And now, evade. We could evade. That's pretty good. And here and there. Yeah, we could just evade two times. And that is, I think, worth keeping. Because of the precise attack we can end this with. The zombie pygmy shaman should die, but let's be sure of that. End the round. Oh, they have not penetrated our shield. That's pretty good for us. We can use our kicks now. Let's go for another kick. There we go. And another kick, because we're so... We're kicking. We're kicking in. A right of unity. Ah, that's kind of good. Now let's roll again. We want to be offensive here. A headbutt. Let's actually do that, hey? Getting one damage in. Let's roll again. Nothing. Let's go for the right of unity. And I don't know. Maybe let's roll again. Let's end the round. Hey, he's had but a gust too. Hmm, not good. But what is good is the precise, at precise attack we have and the triple attack we get. Deprive the dead of anything useful. Let's loot. Red mushroom that will heal us. We have a rope. We have a blue mushroom we can take, and coca leaves even. We don't need the raw meat. The zombie pygmies have saved us. They have given us valuable resources to continue the journey. Um, Richard Francis Burton should eat the red mushroom. Set up our camp to consume the mushrooms. He ate the mushroom and was shaken with pure disgust. He went rigid and began to sweat profusely. Afterwards, he was miraculously healed. Very nice. We're still overburdened, though. So what should we do? Let's actually throw away the torques. Torches. And what else? What else should we do? We should eat the blue mushroom. Very nice. Now we can see more. 70. I mean, we still have the coca leaves and we might find something there. But we need to go back to the springs. There's the old camp. Uh, what about this area? Cannot go there. Would have needed dynamite. Oh, this is desert. It's desert. It's freaking desert and we don't have water anymore. We could go to the springs and refill our water and leave the coca leaves, but that's too risky for me. Could see if we can maybe kill the crocodile and then go um, yeah we could actually visit the shaman again this way would be pretty dangerous right so let's go this way first and then visit the shaman here travel there. It shouldn't burn here, right? 
Hey there, shaman. Can you cure us? Ask for cleansing. What do we have here? Hmm. Could give him the first eight kits. Uh, could trade something. Yeah, not, I think Leptidoptera phobia is maybe not bad. Uh, we could move and kill the crocodile now. That's maybe something we should do. Then eat the coca leaves and go back to the pyramid. Let's do that. I've never killed a crocodile. Let's see. Hey, crocodile. All right. All right, we're not coming back to the pyramid. Mm, ten sanity. This was probably very, very foolish. We need to attack the crocodile, though. What's the way? There is a way, 25, and we need to go to the village. There's only one way, to attack the crocodile. To gain enough sanity. We need a precise attack. Oh, that's not a precise attack, all right. A tactical advantage can be made here. We can give some kicks. Kicks are pretty good. We have a repost. Repost is also pretty good. Can go for the headbutt. Oh, that's nice. Is he really stunned? That's such a good thing. Let's roll again. Oh, nice going. We've got a kick. Got an attack. Let's roll. Come on, let's roll again. Okay. Just one attack. Nice. Let's end the round. Hey, I think you were stunned. Actually, the crocodile is not so bad. I didn't expect that. Curse of poison? Yeah, why not? You can go for a precise attack. And a repost. Actually, we can save these two and maybe we'll gain... Kick? Very nice. We deprive the dead of anything useful. Let's loot. Five animal tooth. And we have crocodile skin now. A skin of a crocodile, it's still bloody and emits a disgusting stench. Good for trading. Very nice. And now, back to 24. <laughs> we could... Oh... Can't do anything anymore. We need to go back to the pyramid. Let's travel. Oh, let's pray for our party. Oh no, something happened. Our people were becoming overwrought, and a discussion between Captain Nathaniel Tadias and Patrick Sanders escalated into a raw curse argument. A moment later, the pair were exchanging blows and trying to strangle each other with grave intentions. Oh no. Who will be attacked? Sanders? Or Thaddeus? We will attack... him. Did we arrest him? Oh, we restrained Captain Nathaniel to the ears and separated the two. The pair seemed down, but there lingered an air of hatred. Oh no. Oh god. <sighs> we did it. The goal was presented to us in form of a pyramid made of gold. And we will... We need the moonstone. Oh, we've... God, I freaking hate it. We need to go back to the village. Oh, God. I think they have the moonstone still. 
Let's hope they have the Moonstone. Hey there, let's trade. You have that freaking Moonstone. I hate you guys. Ah! Oh. And we need some sanity. Give us red berries. Can we give us all of your red... damn red berries? That's too costly, eh? But we need them. What could we give them for it? I mean, the animal tooth aren't too bad, right? Let's give them some animal tooth for the berries. And let's make the deal. We will not rest here, because they hate us. They hate our guts. Packed up the track and headed out as new adventures awaited us. They just stared at me as I departed the following days. I felt that someone or something was following me out there. Let's eat the red berries. Let's get the hell out of here. And let's pray. Let's pray. Let's explore. There was the Golden Pyramid enthroned above the landscape. We had survived the expedition. <laughs> However, gate blocked the entrance. A small opening suggested that we required an artifact to open the gate. Enter the pyramid. With all this hardship, great joy overcame me. I knew that this name, Richard Francis Burton, be written about long after I departed this life. We, we failed to obtain the idol, though. Endless fame awaits us. Ah, we were first. How did we do that? Let's see the map. We didn't even explore everything. Let's finish the expedition now. What an expedition. I like to think we did somehow good. But who? Protector. We receive an additional defense die. Heavy carrier. Lone survivor. I think I want to choose heavy carrier. Pretty good guys with us. We want to carry more. Heavy carrier. <coughs> Ooh. And still, Ada Loveless is in front of us. By a, actually, pretty much a lot. We'll sell all the teeth. Right, I mean. We'll sell the jewels too. We'll gift the butterfly collections. And yeah, we'll, we'll sell the elephant tusk. And this, the anthropological studies, documents of great scientific value that describe the rights and culture of previously unknown indigenous cultures. Let's gift that, of course. The golden dagger. Oh, that gives so much fame, right? It's gifted. Where on earth did you find this piece? The golden coin. Yeah, we still have the hyena pelts. They don't give much fame, so let's gift the golden coin. Let's sell the pelts. Let's see how much we get. Yeah, uh, worth every penny that you'll bring we pay. Wonder what the pluck gained you this. Ha! <sighs> nice going. Nice going. We're in the lead, guys. We're pretty happy about it. We'll save an exit here. What will be our next destination? The dark drylands, the desperate drylands, or the opulent desert. I think we're going to go for the opulent desert. That sounds most easy, and we want to survive. Let's save an exit here. Uh, thank you for watching. Return to us uh, for Richard Francis Burton again in the next episode in Expedition Number 5. Happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Kahn, signing out.